Hello. So, uh, I'm a little late in getting my day started, but that's not anything new. <laughs> Excuse me. But, um, I wanted to come on because I just had a thought. Oh, excuse me. While I was praying. And I do, I am going to, po I am going to do my prayer for you guys. Do my prayer for you guys. But you know what I mean? Like, just to let you know kind of what I say to myself and what I say to the universe in the morning and at night. I'll do that soon. Um, I'll do that today. Uh, tonight when I'm saying it. That's what I'm going to do. I hope I remember that. Um, anyway, uh, I, I get very upset about the situation that I'm in and that situation, and <laughs> in case you're wondering <laughs> or you don't know, is um, I'm pretty damn broke <laughs> and uh, I'm living in a house that's kind of falling down um, and I'm living with people who I like, I respect, but are, are kind of negative. And, um, and I'm trying to lift myself out of the situation. You know, I broke up with my ex-boyfriend uh, at this point several months ago, but, uh, you know, it was a great relationship and ended because of outside circumstances and it's Christmas time and I miss him. Um, and just, I just, I get angry at myself. I get angry at myself. It's really myself that I'm angry at, but, um, I get impatient and, uh, I wake up angry a lot of the time to find myself still here. Um, you know, I'm not, I, I can't buy presents for my niece and my nephew, which is like going to make me cry. Um, my nieces and my nephew, uh, my situ my my sister and I aren't speaking and that you know like I could I could deal with it if it was just her I mean it happens often enough uh, honestly it, I mean it hurts <laughs> I, I hadn't planned to go into this it hurts a lot but um there's nothing I can do about it I've done my best and the fact of the matter is as, as much as, you know, we can have fun and we can laugh and all this stuff when we're together, she has this strange complex where she thinks she's being attacked all the time. And no matter what you say to her, no matter what you say to her, you can't change her mind about it. And it's, it's just really weird. It's weird. And she won't listen. And no matter, even if you're like, what you think is happening, is not happening she's still like you're abusing me i don't know why you're doing this to me and it's just like take a look at yourself <laughs> that's not the way i think you're actually projecting the way you think upon me anyway i don't say that because that'll just get her crazy but um because of the fact that she's not i guess this is coming up because christmas is coming up because of the fact that she's not talking to me um, I don't get to see her baby grow up and that kills me. <laughs> um, so, you know, Christmas is coming up and usually we do Christmas Eve at her house, but I'm not going there. Um, and even my mother has been kind of not disinvited, but she's, it's just, it's a mess. It's a mess. Um, I doubt I'll see her on Christmas too, uh, even though the whole family usually gets together. Um, so that kind of hurts because I really would like to see the baby. Uh, anyway, point being, what I came on here to say is actually the situation that I'm in, right? Like, I get angry, I get impatient, I get just not hateful, but like, I do, I, sometimes I do just hate the situation, right? Um, and sometimes I just hate my life and that's not useful. So as I was praying this morning, 
I have this list of, I, I actually have it posted on my wall because it's a long list. I have this list of um, adjectives, I guess, or, or nouns, whatever, nouns, I think, I guess, yeah, nouns, uh, that I want to be filled with. For instance, mindfulness, love, uh, strength, honesty, integrity, blah, 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 blah. Not blah, 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 blah. They do mean a lot. Um, my nose is starting to run. Man. Anyway, um, I was hoping that my nose would stop running because it runs often. But I've, I've been fasting. Now today is day four <laughs> of fasting. And I was kind of hoping that my nose running was a result of food that I ate so that I could like identify the food that made my nose run, but it's not. I'm gonna be right back. It's not the food, which is a bummer because I was really hoping I could just cut out that food and not have my nose run anymore. Um. Man. So. Um. Anyway, <laughs> at the beginning of this list is mindfulness, but then after it, there is one, two, three, four, five, five words, six words that um, I use and say, like for instance, understanding, <clears throat> right? But I don't pray for under just pray for understanding. I pray for understanding for, of myself, of others, and of the situation. Right, and then there is forgiveness of myself, of others in the situation. Then there's uh, respect, love, uh, patience. Yeah, understanding, acceptance, forgiveness, love, respect, and patience of my situ my situation, of myself, and of others. And lately, I mean, before I have been able to really can like really feel okay yes I can accept the situation yes I can love the situation I can respect the situation I can understand the situation I can have patience with the situation but lately I've just been like <laughs> so um I've been I kind of said it I said it today and I just realized that I really need to need not need I really um am going to think about it you know stop and give it give it some thought because the fact is I am learning from the situation that this situation is kind of a pressure cooker for me it is giving me not just things to think about I, I am learning from it right I it is changing me I am growing from it it is a result of everything that has come before and it is the catalyst for the life that is to come that I am creating for myself right now. So I really, I'd rather change my attitude from like anger and hatred of the situation to respect for the situation, to understanding of the situation and love of the situation and, and patience with the situation, right? Because it feels like it's never gonna end. <laughs> just feels like it's going on forever because it's been what feels like forever to be in a situation in, not just you know just living here but like other places where I'm just broke and like living like not knowing where the next money is gonna come from and like just tr trusting that it's gonna come from somewhere you know and like living with you know, like sometimes just like being overdrawn and not having anything and it's frustrating and it's, but I, it is, it is difficult, but I am learning. I am growing emotionally from it. I'm learning, not, I mean, and when I say learning, I mean, I am learning skills, emotional, and uh, I gotta work on my voice there. It is going all over the place. Um, I'm growing emotionally and spiritually from it. I'm learning things because of it. I'm learning emotional 
emotional and spiritual intelligence from it. It is where, it is because of this situation that I am going to catapult myself into the next phase of my life. So instead of having hatred, see, I was hoping that this, this little talk would give me less hatred of the situation, but it doesn't seem to be happening. Um, everything that came before, self-soothing, right? Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, everything that came before contributed to the situation. All the choices. It's all because of the choices that I made, which were choices that I made given what I knew, given my mindset, and they happened, they're what they are. Um, and the universe has brought me here and I can see clearly in everything that is with me right now, I can see what is meant by it, what the, like, there's meaning behind it. The people I, I'm living with are wonderful, but I can help them and I am helping them and I know it. And there's one of them that's just like, what is with this? This is like, ugh. I've been noticing that more and more lately. <laughs> it's like, okay, come on. Uh, yeah, I gotta loosen that muscle right there. Um, I, I need to practice understanding and patience with, because I get keyed up. I get, it goes, it's, I, I get irritated. Um, and the other, like her a lot. Um, I get frustrated with, with her though. Uh, but you know what? That's her life and those are her choices. And you know, I'm getting better. See, this is like, I'm learning that I can't take other people's choices on person, not personally, but like as my challenge as like, I can only help as much as I can help. But in the end, her choices are hers, and there's not a lot I can do other than be there and, gosh, yeah, <laughs> be there and, um, you know, do what I can to offer a bit more perspective. Um, but I see this self-sabotaging because it's what I do, <laughs> did, and it just, I just want to kind of shake her and be like, wake up, you're wasting your life. Um, but I just got to concentrate on what I'm doing and the progress I, I am making and I will continue to make. I'm here for a reason. Anyway, I'm just kind of babbling now. I'm gonna stop. Uh, but I'm gonna to continue to think about this throughout the day. I'll report back later. And hopefully I will have kind of fixed my mindset on it and I can tell you how I did it, hopefully. Um, so I'm grateful for this opportunity to see this is a hard thing for me right this is a challenge and as I am challenged with changing my mindset when it doesn't just come you know easily I can work on it um, and that will give me greater strength and it will allow me ooh, it will allow me to help uh, others. I, sorry, that was, I, every morning I take a, 
I take um, some essential oils in a capsule for various issues. Um, Clary Sage and Rosemary for some feminine stuff, uh, petite grain and um, cilantro, no not cilantro, co coriander for other, uh, there's, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in, in my little, I, I mix it together in my little um, thing and I put it in, anyway, it, it tends to, <laughs> afterwards, and once in a while I have like a little uh, burp and it tastes like clary sage <laughs> and clary sage does not taste good. <laughs> I mean, it, I mean, there's also a little bit of rosemary and coriander in there, right? But it, anyway, um, excuse me. So I'm grateful that I, that essential oils work for me and help me with various physical functions. I'm grateful that this situation gives me the opportunity to strengthen my will, strengthen my ability to change my mindset because I feel resistance to it, to overcome, not overcome, but to work with that resistance and direct it elsewhere. Not that I, you know, change it or whatever. We'll see what happens. I have the opportunity to work on these things, to improve my mindset, to improve my emotional well-being, to improve my spiritual well-being. And that will serve me later on as more challenges come up because challenges always happen, even if we don't want them to. And um, it'll help, it'll serve me to help later um, with my ability and my confidence. So I'm grateful for these challenges and I am going to remind you all out there that you can always choose to have a great full day.